I'm back. Okay, I am not promoting any products here. Just gonna talk about some things that I have here. So uh, I would say a year and a half, two years ago, I bought some uh, Google Cardboard here. And I actually bought the actual Google Cardboard, you know, that you can make your own. And there's other brands out there, but I decided, you know, it's not expensive. Get the real thing. It's real, it works very well for what it is. Um, you just open it up, unfold it, and then you put your camera in here, Velcro it down, and woo, you got, you know, 3D uh, or virtual environment. Not everything's 3D, only if it's filmed in 3D. 3D. Uh, and it works really cool. Um, and one of the benefits of this over uh, a lot of the other ones, so some of the older uh, Google Cardboard, I guess, have a little um, magnet in them or something for um, allowing it to uh, to sense when you click that to change things, uh, but not all phones support that and a lot of the cardboards don't have that. One of the nice things about this cardboard is there is a button here and it's actually pretty cool. Uh, all it is is a little tab with a little, I don't know, some sort of fabric on there that I guess the screen's going to detect. So when I press that, it clicks the screen, which is cool. So you can write software for this and uh, you don't have to worry about uh, near field communication. Uh, you just set up your program for touchscreen stuff, which, so, you know, there is Google Cardboard software, which I have played around with. I try to keep so my desktop computer, uh, very, the, the only really proprietary software I have on my desktop computer um, is basically uh, some drivers, uh, I think just for my video card. And, um, and that the only other proprietary software, I'm still using Chrome rather than Chromium or Firefox at the time, just because there are times when uh, I kind of have to backwards engineer some Flash on a website and need Flash installed. I'm going to have Flash installed. Might as well have it through Chrome, which is updated regularly and well supported. Um, on my phone, though, it's a little, a little more, a little more. Yeah, you know, I don't want to say more difficult. I could easily go fully free and open source, um, but there's just a few programs. Basically, the only proprietary software I have on my phone is the Google software that it came with uh, that I didn't disable or remove. Uh, not that that makes it good. I mean, when it comes to Google, uh, I don't trust them as far as privacy or, you know, monitoring what I'm doing. Obviously, they're doing that stuff. I don't think they're going to trash me. It's not, you can consider their software, the proprietary stuff, obviously, uh, is malicious software in some ways when it comes to proprietary and watching you and stuff like that. I don't think they're going to destroy my device or anything like that. Uh, not that that makes it any better. It does in some ways. Anyway, uh, what I'm getting at is I do use some proprietary software. Uh, I would say I probably have... 20 things, 20 apps installed on my phone, and half of them are Google apps. Uh, two of them, I really, really would find it hard to live without. Uh, and the others, then there's one or two that uh, I don't necessarily need, but I have on there anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm making excuses now. Basically, um, for me, uh, Google Hangouts, I have not found any, and I'm getting off subject because I wanted to talk about these, but Google Hangouts is a, is a program to me, and I've mentioned this before, that uh, there's nothing else like it. It's not the greatest program, it, the program actually runs kind of like crap, but um, I do use uh, Google Fi as uh, my cell phone provider, uh, which I absolutely love and is saving me buku dollars, uh, and I'm not... Promoting them, if anyone's interested, I do have codes that can save you 20 bucks and get me 20 bucks as well. I just, before I was with T-Mobile for years, well, they use T-Mobile and Sprint Tower, so I'm going to get just as good, if not better, servers. And it also automatically flips over to Wi-Fi uh, if it's available and stronger than cell phone signals, which is awesome, especially when you're out in the middle of nowhere, but you have some Wi-Fi, you can still make calls. But anyway, going back to Google Hangouts, and again, I'm getting off subject of what I want to talk about here, but hey, this is a whole day of me talking, so I can talk about whatever. Um, so, uh, I have not found a program that allows me to send and receive texts from my phone, tablet, uh, and computer that doesn't cost me any money. And that's important because I am cheap. Uh, and that's kind of, kind of why I, I, I have not found, uh, I looked into, I can't remember what it's called, but it's the chat program that Edward Snowden suggests that's totally encrypted and open source. I don't remember what license it's under, but it's at least open source. Uh, and I tried it for a little bit and, um, the problem with it is it, like a lot of programs, 
You can chat with other people using that program. If it's on your phone, let me just adjust, there we go. If it's on your phone, you can text other people, but the texts don't come and go to your computer or tablet. Well, yeah, tablet seamlessly. The only thing that goes to all your devices is chatting, which means those other people have to use it. I really like uh, texting. You know, this is actually getting into another conversation with something that Google's working on with their chat thing, which I find very interesting. Let's get back to the 3D stuff. So going back, I don't use Google Cardboard on my phone. I had it installed for a bit. It was pretty neat. It let you do um, a panorama with your camera that would be 3D and it recorded audio too, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, uh, I like making sphere photos. I've done them a lot with my phone using you know the Google Photo app, which is a proprietary software that, that uh, used uh, that would do sphere photos. Actually, I just recently switched. I'm recording this with my last phone, my, uh, 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 what is it? The um, LG uh, Nexus 5X. I just a week ago got this uh, Moto 4X, which is a great story. Uh, and the software that came with it, because it's got dual cameras, so it can do some cool things, but the software that doesn't do sphere photos, I'm like, ah, you know, I don't want to install two different phone apps, whatever, but I am actually getting a Samsung camera that someone's going, told me they would give me uh, for doing sphere photos. Um, and it's like making sphere photos, they're fun. And um, if you use Google Photos, again, another proprietary software on your phone, they've recently added the feature that allows you to use devices like this. They've always had the sphere feature where you can go around with your phone or drag with your phone and look at sphere stuff. But now there's a button for goggles and you can put your phone right in here and look at all the way around. It's not 3D, but it's, it's a full sphere that you can look around, um, which is great. So if you have Google Photos on your phone, awesome. But again, proprietary software. Uh, but it's very easy to write software and I actually have some up on GitHub or my Pastebin that I've written and examples on my website uh, for 3D environments that actually took example code from somebody else and completely stripped out all the non-necessary stuff. Um, but using 3JS that that will, I can put uh, it in my, my phone in here and go like this and look around the 3D environment. Uh, I've done sphere photos like that. I haven't done sphere photos that work with the goggles yet. Um, but it's pretty cool and it's pretty simple. So it's nice to be able to have that option of uh, free and open source software that I can look around. Uh, well, it's using 3JS, which is not, which is open source, but not, not under the GPL. I think it's an MIT license. Um, anyway, so it's nice having the Google Cardboard and I think it's like 15 bucks. Well, uh, a couple of months ago, I was walking through Walmart and they had these. Uh, and again, I'm not promoting anything and you can find different brands of these different places. These uh, 3D uh, or these virtual reality headsets for your smartphone and they were only $5. Uh, and I got two, one for me and one for my friend for his birthday, which is back in January at the same time as mine, but we actually, he's been busy and we haven't gotten together. Uh, and it's cool because it's got the head straps. So I can put this on like this. Um, and it has adjusters here that adjust so that you can adjust the, um, width and the focus of the lenses. So you can move these all around like this. Uh, so you focus in and it actually, the Google Cardboard seems to work very well, at least with my uh, Nexus phone. Uh, pop it in there and it works. Although my old Motorola phone, uh, it didn't, didn't like it line up. So, so it might work better for this. It's nice, it's cushioned, it straps to your head. You can adjust these individually for the eyes so you get it how you like. It doesn't have, and a lot of these cheaper headsets don't have anything to click the screen, which would be awesome. It wasn't hard. They did it with cardboard. Why can't you incorporate it into this? I would have paid $6, an extra dollar if you just added a button. Still, it's pretty cool. It's padded. You still look like an idiot running around like this. My daughter loves just looking at our vacation photos. She t insists on walking around even though the sphere photo is just stationary looking around, but she <laughs> insists on walking through the house like she's gonna go anywhere. Um, uh, if you haven't played around with anything like this, you really should. I mean, it's cheap um, and it's fun. Uh, you know, it's not like uh, I'm not I'm not a big gamer. I'm not looking for virtual reality for games at this point. Uh, although you know it would be cool. Uh, the Google Cardboard uh, application when you install it has a lot of cool examples of 3D environments that you can move around uh, and and uh, tours of different places around the world. Um, so my point is. These are great for $5. Again, not necessarily a brand. You go to Big Lots or Walmart, you can find them for, for $5. Cool, cardboard's a little bit more. And actually, 
it's really nice having this button. So if you can, I recommend this, even though you would think this wouldn't be as good as this, they both have their benefits, but the button to be able to click through stuff, if your application has that sort of thing. I mean, if you're just looking at, if I wanted to look at a picture in 3D with this, I could, or not in 3D, but in a sphere photo, I can do this. But then if I want to change the photo, I either, I either need to take the phone out, change the photo and put it back in, or maybe set up some sort of wireless remote control, which would be a cool project. Anyway, in another video, hopefully in the future, I will look go over software, different software options for uh, virtual reality headsets like this. Um, you know, uh, writing your own software uh, and and what options are out there for some very easy to use like Google Photos. Um, so yeah, I just want to talk about these for a little bit. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna move.